Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Rick's Gadgets. Today I want to talk about my Wi-Fi mesh router system by Google and what kind of improvements it's made around my house. So stick around. So welcome back. I don't want to do a typical unboxing video because there's many of these out. People have already done about the Google mesh system. But uh, basically I want to kind of give you an overview of, of what it is, how it works, and some of the pros and cons on it. Um, so as you can see, this box, it comes with three uh, independent pucks, which will um, you can put throughout the house. It covers about 4,500 square feet is what they say with the three. Um, one of the advantages I had was I already had the Google router in the beginning. It's made by TP-Link. Um, and these will work with the existing router. So um, it was just a matter of me going around and adding these in, tapping the app, and it created the, my mesh network um, with very little effort. Because um, like I said, these can be either wireless or hardwired, and um, they come with their own power cable and everything ready to go. Um, so on my system, what I had was my house is kind of, uh, it's, it's 2,600 square feet, two story. I have my router set up in a closet, um, and it covers the house fairly well. I had one dead area, which is really upstairs and in a bonus room. It was the furthest probably point from my router. Um, so what I tried to do was to get coverage to that area. Um, being on the first floor, I have access under the house, so I ran a hardwired uh, connection to my back office, which is kind of below that bonus room area. And what I used to do was run extenders back there. I tried extenders. I tried uh, another router um, as kind of an access point. And I still found that that one room was still lacking in coverage. So when I started investigating additional options, I, I came across the Google router. And what I thought I'd do was would add these to the system and see how it works. So what I was able to do was, since I already had the TP-Link, I added this one in the office, and since it allows a hardwired connection, I now have one hardwired um, access point for the Google system, as well as my existing router. Now that's given me options on both sides of the house, which is great. So now what I did was, I took another unit and it added upstairs in that low area, which was the bonus room. So what that's given me is if the mesh network, they talk to each other and they kind of give you the overall coverage of the system. So now I've got two points on the bottom floor and one wireless on the up floor. And that coverage, that one puck is getting probably enough signal off of the lower one below it um, from the office. And that's giving me a good coverage now upstairs. Um, not seeing as many issues as far as connection strengths. I was running a Roku up there, which I was noticing the download and the streaming was a kind of weak, but after I got the mesh network installed, it has been a lot better. Um, the one thing I do say on these that it's not as, as strong as some like the net gear that I had before was the distance. Um, the distance is a little lower, but as long as you're within range, the speeds are really good. So inside my house is great. Outside of my house in the backyard, it is a little limited versus some of the other routers. Like I had the Nighthawk before, I could go all around my yard with that and have a great signal except for the bonus room. Uh, for some reason, it's always dead in that bonus room. So for me, didn't care much about outside. I wanted to work inside. So this was a great solution for me because it gave me that coverage inside the house that I was looking for, as well as killing that dead zone upstairs. So um, these have worked out really well. There are other mesh networks out there that you can get for um, routers. So I'm not saying go out and buy Google. Um, there's various ones, but these work a little bit better versus just your Wi-Fi extenders because your Wi-Fi extender is taking some of that network speed to extend that network. And like I said, I tried that and it just didn't give me the coverage. Whereas this has more of a dedicated system to talk to one another on the router side and it gives you just a little more um, speed and it's not taken away from the overall network speed to keep that network talking to each other. So 
I would re recommend getting a mesh network. If you've got a large house, um, most definitely need it. Uh, just put these throughout the house, various areas. And the nice thing with the Google is it'll do a mesh network check and it'll tell you if you've got a low signal in one area. So maybe you want to move one of these a little bit closer from your main point and closer to the other access point to see how you can pick up the, the, the speeds and the, the, the signal strengths. So it's nice that it gives you that option to go in there and check and see how it's working to allow you to tweak the areas where you need to put these. So again, um, great little system. I've, I've enjoyed it so far. I would recommend getting a mesh network and I know there's some great reviews on Google and there's bad reviews on Google, the, the routers. Um, knock on wood, had no issues like some of the other people. I would say that if you like customizing your system, the Google one is a little harder to do. Um, I mean, you can still do your port forwarding, you can do you know, static IP addresses, the, the basic things. Um, but it is a little bit harder to manage. It's not as customizable as some systems out there. But overall, I would say any mesh network, look into it and, uh, and add it to your system if you find that you have those dead spots around the house. Because, like I said, it did fix mine. And I've been very pleased with this. I've had them now for about a year and been going strong, set them up, haven't touched them since. Thanks everyone for stopping by Rick's Gadgets today. I hope the information on the mesh network routers was useful and if you have any comments or questions just drop them below and we'll try to get them answered for you so I would like for you to hit that subscribe button and like the video if you found this useful and also please come back again and check out my new videos like I said I'm trying to put one out every week so look forward to seeing you guys stop back by again thanks and y'all have a great day